Hi, welcome back to Kanji Master. The first kanji we're going to learn today is the kanji for cold. I've been uh, holding off on learning this one, even though it's, it is a beginner kanji basically. Just because the shape is actually quite complicated. The onyomi reading is kan, like okan, meaning the chills or the shakes, which I'll show you how to draw shortly. Kunyomi reading is the summer from summer, meaning cold. We draw it, we've got the helmet. We almost draw like a noughts and crosses board. Draw another line on the bottom, and then similar to winter, obviously this is winter, so not too dissimilar to that, back. Um, to remember this one, it's probably pretty tricky, um, it's a unique shape, so it's not similar to any other kanji, so maybe that helps too. Um, I hate to try one without a story, but for me this one is common enough that I think I'll remember it and it does kind of look like winter at the bottom so I can make that connection to cold. Let me just try to try that. Um, so, oh, uh, okay, the shapes or the chills. <laughs> on to the next one. The next kanji is the kanji for chase, follow or pursue. The on your reading is uh, tsui, like more tsui, like hot pursuit. Kunyomi reading is the off from O, meaning to chase down, to follow, to pursue, to draw it. So it goes a B. So it's similar to a B, um, which means B for bear. For bear. Um, so if you want to try and remember this one, um, you following a bear, uh, kind of maybe you're a hunter, tracking him down, it's this bear kind of climbing up this tower, following him up there, and then he jumps down and it's actually a water slide and he's sliding in the water slide and you're following him on the water slide. There you go, on to the next one. The next kanji is a kanji for compete, bid, at auction, uh, race or compete, I think I said compete twice there, you can tell it's late. The only reading is kyo like kyoe, competitive swimming, uh, or ke, like keba, horse racing. The kunyo reading is the kiso from kiso, meaning to compete, or the sef from seru, meaning to compete. The draw it's pretty easy. It's just the same thing twice over. Standing on your brother. Standing on your brother. Imagine that family tradition is to see the competition is to see who can stand on their brother the longest. Family of four, two younger brothers, two older brothers, standing on their brother's shoulders. Sometimes it lasts for hours and hours and hours. Your see, I'm sure that's not the strike order, but swim, uh, keeper. Horse, horse racing. And the next one. The next kanji is the kanji for whale. The kunyo reading is ge, like geniku, meaning whale meat. Uh, or gein, it's like uh, to drink hard. Kunyo reading is kuja, meaning whale in Japanese. Draw, I've got the shape for fish on the right. Then we've got capital on the left. Oh, sorry, on the, on the right. Let's reverse those. Um, if you can imagine capital city of Tokyo, instead of people walking around, there's whales walking around everywhere. So you think of fish capital, think of whales. Yeah, there you go. Um, Ginniku. Whale meat. The next kanji is the kanji for carp. The onion reading is ri, like mori, meaning carp breeding, and the kunya reading is koi. koi. Is koi, even to us. <laughs> so, the sunflower, as we sometimes call it, or home village, when you think about it, and fish. So, if you think about uh, a koi pond, and there's all these sunflowers floating on the surface of the water, and the koi's come up, and the sunflowers sort of resting on their heads as they look at you. A beautiful sight, and quite majestic. Amazing looking fish anyway, they live a long time, and they have sunflowers on their heads. Koi. On the next one. 
And the last country we're going to look at today also contains the element for fish. It means fresh, vivid, or brilliant. Uh, the Kunya reading is Sen, like Shin Sen, meaning fresh. And the Kunya reading is the Aza from Azayaka, meaning brilliant. Like a vibrant colour, vibrant. So, draw it. We've got that fish. we got a sheep. Fish and sheep together. It's fresh. Um, you can think about it as uh, a producer is looking for the latest, the freshest band, the freshest sound. And into the studio walks uh, a sheep with a fish in a fish on its back. They start doing the freshest hip hop thing. It's that, like the Fresh Prince song. Fresh. Shinsen. Shinsen. Fresh. That's it for today, guys. Catch you again tomorrow. Bye.